So what you're about to see is a one hour call with one of the world's best copywriters going through my sales page copy line by line and discussing what could have been done better. My hope is that you'll learn a lot about writing sales copy from this video so you can apply it to your company and make more money. With that said, let's get right into it. Thanks awesome. for having me again in your uh, YouTube community. Appreciate it. Well, I figure if, if I'm going to learn something, might as well let them learn something too. So take it away, Mara. Okay. So, um, so just for context, this is a webinar script or a transcript of a webinar that you did that you wanted to turn into a sales page mm -hmm. um, to promote your, uh, your offer that um, you're making right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the page and show you what I did, what I shifted, what I changed and explain why so that you can learn in that way, which is how my father taught me. So when my dad, um, Bill Glazer was teaching me copywriting, he did what we call the red pen copywriting critique. And he would tell me everything I did right and why everything I did wrong and why and made me rewrite and rewrite and rewrite until I got it right in his eyes for three years. So I guess this will be kind of like a mini red pen copy critique, except all of the markings are green. So today it's the green pen copywriting critique. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's killer. <laughs> that's such a great um, story about your dad too. Yeah. Yeah. So this was the original document just so you know, your viewers can kind of see it. So there's four main changes I made, but I'm going to teach you more in depth as we go through. So one of the things that I did is I, I took your um, webinar transcript and I changed the structure of it to um, really be in alignment with a strong, solid sales page format. So you'll see that as we go through it. Another thing that we did is I added in sections that, or I added in um, actually a note where you can add in some sections of objection busting. So um, one of the things I like to do in my sales pages is have sections that specifically speak to the most common objections. Since your team is selling this on the phone, they're the best providers of that information about what those objections are. Mm -hmm. And you've probably know what they are already too. So we'll want to infuse that into the page. Another thing that we're going to talk about is getting inside the mind of your buyer and um, doing this so that they feel like you're reading their mind, like you totally get them. And um, because of that, they build trust with you and want to buy from you by using some of their own languaging. Um, and then the fourth biggest change I made is you did a really great job in the transcript making a case for why someone needs to buy this and why they should buy it right now. What I wanted to add to the sales page was I also wanted to really sell the offer and go in depth in what exactly it is that they're getting through the sales page. So you'll see that too. Okay. Um, cool, cool. okay. Yeah, I think the, the reason I don't go deep into the offer when I do webinars is, or when I sell high ticket, it's because uh, sometimes... Well, I mean, we're just trying to get them to book a call and sometimes we will tweak yep. or modify the offer or change the pricing. You know, I mean, we've, we've doubled prices okay. sometimes. And when you're on the phone, you just say, you know, 10,000 instead of 5,000 and it's done. You don't have to redo your webinar. So that's one of the reasons I didn't include that information. Totally, totally get that. For the sales page application, which is different, I wanted to make sure right. that it was all there um, for the people who buy based on wanting to know all the details. Okay, um, cool. Okay, cool. So let's talk about the headlines. So you- well, can, had, can we get them to book a call from this page as well? Uh, yeah, I thought that was the goal of the page. Okay, yeah, I just, so just double checked. I added in a whole bunch of buttons for them to do okay, that. Sweet, sweet, awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. And then you'll have to let me know how many calls you booked. Cause I'll be excited to know. Yeah, so, exactly. um, I changed your headline a little bit. You had how to make six figures as a high ticket closer without owning your own product. Now I don't have, um, your market data to know if that's what your audience wants or not, but I kind of got the feeling from the page that what they really wanted was to work from home or anywhere in the world. So I slightly adjusted that here. And then you actually had this line somewhere else at the bottom of the transcript. So I took this line, tweaked it a bit and popped it at the top. Plus the fastest way to break into this industry and start generating 10 K plus per month commissions fast, even if you have no experience. So I really liked that line. So I kind of made it a little sub headline at the top. Okay. Cool. cool. And then yeah, I think that headline was probably more general. It'll appeal to everybody because I only a, a segment of the audience even considered having their own product. Whereas maybe the rest of them, they didn't even consider that, you know, they, they don't like the idea of having to have their own product, but that's only a segment of the market. That's not the total market. 
Totally. Yep. And actually I did another kind of like headline idea here. So you oh. could even test how to make six figures as a high ticket closer without starting your own business and risking it all. Cause that oh, that's could, good. I like that. Yeah. That could fit another market. You know? I, I can split test it. The main headline is the easiest to split test. So I'll split test it. Okay. Awesome. And the next suggestion I have for you is to put a video on the page on the left with the book, a call button on the right. Okay. Uh, you're, you're really good at making videos. So I'm going to leave that one to you. Um, so then I like to start my sales letters with a heartfelt letter. So I actually talked about this when you interviewed me on your podcast. So I shared this story about Shark Tank. You know, we all love Shark Tank. We've all probably seen many episodes. It's my dad's favorite show. And there's always a, a business that gets into the tank um, on each episode that is like doing awful, right? Like the whole thing is just a bust. And there's like that sad violin music going in the background. And then Barbara usually says something to the effect of, so tell me how you got started. And then the business owner starts to share their heart and soul behind their business why they started it, how they were like living in their mom's basement. They worked their way out of that and they're now making $10 million a year, whatever. And then everybody falls in love with them. And then they get a deal with like the best shark, which in my opinion is Mark Cuban, right? So what I want to do is I want to create that type of engagement at the beginning of the letter where you share your heart and your soul behind this offer behind your business. So we can create that engagement first before that even becomes a question later on in the letter. So I took some components of your transcript and pieced them together to write a pretty solid letter. There's a couple gaps and I have some notes about that, that you'll need to fill in. I just didn't know the story, but um, okay. so we started off here. How would you like to learn a high paying career skill? I changed this. You had learn a skill. I changed it to high paying career skill because I felt like possibly that might be the words that your audience would use okay. that can make you more money than most doctors, lawyers, and even CEOs like this person, this person, and this person, which you had. And I loved that. I notated that, that I loved that. And, and, and just, like and literally just put like this person, put the screenshot like John, because mm -hmm. we have, we have like hundreds of testimonials. So I just figured I would just pick the best ones. And then I might even split tests with different testimonials as well. So Totally. Awesome. You should do that. And then I added in a whole bunch of places throughout the page where you can throw in testimonial screenshots too. Cool. So, cool. And unlike a doctor or lawyer, this career skill can be learned in just a few weeks, not years. And heck, when you become really good at it, you can even make a better income. I added that line in, even if we find ourselves in a recession, but more on that in a little bit. Oh, I, like one of the the, things, I like the anchor. Awesome. Yeah. Cause one of the things I'm really worried about is like people coming to this page and wondering, does, will this still work for me with the current economic climate? And we want to bust that before it even becomes a thing. If that interests you, this letter could change your life. So I suggest that you keep reading. Hi, my name's Dan Henry, and I'm the co-founder of closeddeals.com. And I'm also the founder of an online education company that did 30 million in sales called getclients.com. And right now I'm going to show you how you too can learn just one high paying career skill. So I just changed that there too, high paying career skill that can absolutely change your life fast like it did mine. So I added this in because I want for your reader to know that you've been in their shoes and feel like you can resonate with them. This skill helped me sell over $30 million worth of high ticket offers at getclients.com. And it allowed closeddeals.com to become a $1.2 million company in its first two weeks in business, currently growing 50% per month. And then I added this, but you don't need to start your own company like I did to be successful at this. Heck, I don't even want you to, because right. this isn't about starting a company. It's about working with a company as a high ticket closer. So I just added that in there. Like many who will read this, maybe you, I just wanted to emphasize the you of the reader. I started out in a nine to five job. And fortunately, mine didn't come with a fancy corner view office and company credit card. So I just added that because I wanted to add like a little personality to the letter. And like, you have a ton of personality, like we know each other in real life, you know? So like, I wanted to make sure that was in here. Yeah, I do better on video with my personality. I'm, I'm, I'm a little drier on text, so I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah. So I just, I just added that in. I pretended I was you for a moment. Um, and 
then I was delivering pizza for Pizza Hut and I had that job for seven long years and it sucked. So I had that, I added that in this part. I just wanted to add like a little more Dan, you know? Yeah. Um, I remember, I, I can't talk. I remember the I day. I said I, long ass years or something. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, I told you about just to a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an FML coming up. So I remember the day I had to walk up 15 flights of stairs to deliver a pizza because the elevator was broken. FML. The customer's name was Gupta. Well, I forgot Gupta's two liter of soda. So I had to go all the way back down those 15 flights of stairs, drive back to the store, get the soda, drive back to his apartment, walk all the way back up the 15 flights of stairs. And still Gupta stiffed me. This was my life. Like many of you um, who will read this or yeah, like many who will read this, maybe you, I wasn't making the money I wanted to make. I wasn't able to work from home and spend time with my family like I wanted to. And I was very uncertain about my future. But then one day I answered an ad I saw on Craigslist for a sales job. And out of what felt like pure luck at the time, I landed the job. And lo and behold, it was the company where Billy Mays, the OxyClean guy, who was one of the top earning sales guys in the world, got his start. So I just oh, accentuated God. a little bit of your story yeah. here. Yeah. And I, felt I got his so actual sales manager too, which is, did I put that in there? I literally got his same sales manager when I got a job there. Oh, that's cool. No, that yeah. wasn't in here. That oh, is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you can add it in. Um, I did feel like I put this note here. I felt like this maybe needed like a little more background. Like, how did you come across this Craigslist job? Like, what was that about? Like, I mean, I was just searching, you know, like how you do on credit. Well, I don't know if people still do it, but I just searched for job after job. And th that one stood out and it basically said like, uh, g make $50,000 per year or more, which back then was a, a lot. God, I'm old. Uh, and, <laughs> and, uh, traveling the, the, the country, which really what it was, was you had to pack up all this crap into a van and drive across the country and set it up at different stores. So that sucked. Um, yeah. It wasn't like, oh, you're going to travel the world and, and make, no, like you had to put all this crap in a van and drive eight hours and set it up. And yeah, it wasn't that good. But. Not, good. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Um, so to keep going, so they taught me how to sell gourmet cookware at department stores, like you were talking about Costco and Sam's club by doing cooking presentations for the shoppers in the store. Mm -hmm. I made six figures my first year there, but eventually quit because I got sick of traveling and never being home. Um, so I was a little worried about this section coming up, so we'll read it and then we'll talk about it. Okay, sure. I, what's that? Uh, I, I just said, sure. Okay. I knew the more I mastered the skill, the more money I would make. And there was a ton of sales jobs out there, but like many of you, I always had a wall with nine to five sales jobs. I ended up creating my own online course and coaching program. And I sold $30 million worth of it. The company is called getclients.com. I'm a little worried about this because I was unsure if this would really be relatable to your, your ideal client yeah. that you're wanting to buy this. And so I feel like this part could um, be worked on just a little bit to kind of find some truths in your story that are more relatable to your audience. Yeah, um, it, it, it's tough because that was my journey. You know, my journey was I took my skill and started a company. My partner, Phil, who's my partner at CloseDeals.com, his journey was he took that skill and became a closer. So mm -hmm. like, it's just hard for me because it's like, it is. It's a bit hard to relate to something because I've always been an entrepreneur at heart and I, I did not want to work for anybody. Um, whereas some people don't want the pressure of owning a business. So this is great for them. Um, so it, it was, it, yeah, I had a little struggle there. Yeah. So, so, okay. But what I heard from that is that you wanted freedom to mm -hmm. live your life, how you wanted to. So you could lean into the fact of you made great money there the first year, but eventually quit because you got sick of traveling and you wanted more freedom in your life. And that's when you learned how to pick up this skill that allows you to work from anywhere instead of kind of leaning into, I always had a wall with nine to five sales jobs, because I don't know that your client is always someone that's done sales before, right? A lot of times they haven't. So, so some of our clients are in fact, uh, current salespeople that work at nine to five sales jobs, but they can't make much money because a nine to five sales job doesn't pay them much. Whereas if they get a, a remote sales job with a, with an online company that sells high ticket, they make like 
stupid money compared to what they like. I remember I worked I worked for Direct TV once, and I I broke the like the regional sales record, and I still didn't make that much money. You close one deal for a high ticket uh, offer owner, and you've made like a thousand bucks on one call. So like, yeah, it's that was kind of more what I was trying to convey there. I get lost in the sauce a little bit at this part because my journey, you know, from my cl- from the client. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, when I the other side of the business is we manage sales teams for these people, so like that's easy for me to talk to th- them about. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Hmm. But I mean, so, I don't. I don't know if that needs to be mentioned. If it would muddy the waters. Yeah. So let's look at it real quick. So. So they taught you how to sell at the store. You made six figures your first year and you eventually quit because you got sick of traveling, never being home and maybe working on their schedule. Um, And then maybe you could say, I I created my own offer, but you don't have to. Um, And then I I went all in on figuring out how to sell that. So I see, I see. So so I I took that skill and- uh, I personally created my own offer and made a bunch of money, but you don't have to, you can make a ton of money using the same skill for someone else's offer more on that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I like perfect. that. Okay. Um, and then, so like same here, I think we need to look at this section. So you said this took years and early on, I invested almost every penny I made back into learning to master sales. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on seminars, coaching courses, and working with the top sales mentors in the world. I once even spent $50,000 on a one-on-one coaching call from a master speaking coach. And so um, I love what you did here because what you were trying to do, I think, is seed coaching and price anchoring the program so that when one of your prospects hears the price of your program and it's not fifty thousand yeah. dollars, they're like, "Oh wow, like I just got a great deal." Right. But at the same time, I don't know that it really transitions correctly into the next section. Okay. So this part might either need to be moved or cut out. I added a lot of price justification in here. Um, okay. So yeah. it could potentially go away. So just okay. kind of a no. Sure. And then last year I helped co-found closedeals.com with my partner and COO, Phil Bo, Bo- How do you say his last name? Uh, Bohol. And we can remove COO because we we actually got him out of that role and, and hired another C- COO. So I can delete that. Um, okay. Yeah. So he doesn't, yeah. So like neither of us want to really work in the company. We just want to own the company. So <laughs> um, gotcha. even though I'm like CMO basically, but you know, we, we got him yeah. as the more the product guy. So, but okay. I'll, that's a minor thing. I can just delete that. Yeah. And CMO. Okay. All right. And then together we crafted a high ticket sales system that not only helped close deals.com become a $1.2 million company its first two weeks, but it also doubled and even tripled sales for many of our clients. So the only thing here is if your sales system has a name, I'd love to notate that name here just to kind of anchor into the name of the system. But if it doesn't, then that's okay. So um, we don't really have a name for it. Um I mean, I I I always called my my system. Uh, high ticket selling and I mean, which is not very unique. I'm, um, I mean, okay. I call my script the big money script because every time I use it, I make big money. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we uh, could say that here, like together we crafted a high ticket sales system. I jokingly call it the big money script because every time we use it, we make big money. And not only did that help close deals.com become a one to $1.2 million company its first two weeks, but it's doubled or tripled the sales for our clients. You could say that here. Okay. So, okay. okay. Um, so um, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit to this next part. So if it's great, it's of- good, right? Uh, yeah, I may have made some slight edits, but yeah, it's good. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Uh, I went from not making the money I want. Heck, I was a pizza delivery boy for crying out loud. So I added that in there just to add like some more personality to making more money than ever. And our certified closers are making great incomes as well. So here's what I wanted to talk about here. I know just from knowing you that the money that you make, you've been very generous in supporting your parents, your kid, your your child, your ex-wife. And so I was thinking maybe you add some of that in here. 
partially mm. that will show who you are um, and, and your generosity and, and your giving to your family. And also, I think that that will be really relatable to a lot of people considering this opportunity who want to create um, more financial success in their life to be able to support the people that they love. So there's like a, a spot for you to be able to do that here. So, so here, here's why I know I normally do throw that in. I say, you know, I bought every, I, cause I did, I bought everybody houses. I bought my dad a house, I bought my mom a house, I bought my ex-wife a house, I bought everybody houses. Like Oprah, like here's, you get a house. However, <laughs> the ability to just willy nilly buy people houses did not, it came from me owning the business. I, I don't think becoming a closer, you're going to make that big money. You make, you can make a couple hundred grand a year, but you ain't, you ain't, I made millions per year. You ain't going to be handing out houses like candy on a couple hundred grand a year. So do you think it's, inc it's incongruent to mention that or does it not matter? I think it should always be truthful and honest. So if that's the case, then I do think that we should leave it out. Okay. Um, or I could say, you know, this skill uh, help me make such a great income that I was able to buy my mom, my dad, and even my ex-wife, their own uh, brand new houses. Uh, however, that kind of money came from me owning my own business, not being, but see that then they might be like, well, I want to do that. So yeah. yeah All right. Gonna, let's leave it out. Leave let's it leave out. it out. Okay. Um, I went from always being on the road and away from my family to working from home every day, allowing me to be present for my son, Bruce, and our certified closers get to work from home too. So I just added a little bit more about, okay. you know, your family life. In fact, this is a pillar of our company culture, being able to work from home so you can be present with your family. And finally, I went from feeling hopeless about my future to being as hopeful as ever because I get to build great companies each and every day. Besides the financial freedom, there's no better feeling knowing that you've helped build something great. So I think it, I pulled it says that. It, there's no great in between um, building companies right at the top, right at, between building companies. You said great, but it wasn't in the line. Oh, I didn't even uh, see that line. One below. One pair above, right? One, one above. Right there. See, I okay. get to help build companies. You put great in or we can leave it out. Yeah. In well, my, I heard you say mind. it. So. Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, I thought it was great. I'm um, paying attention. <laughs> thank you. I love it. And I'd love to show you um, how, and I'd love to be the one to show you how. So let's keep going. You'll find all the details about how to become a certified high ticket closer with our help right here on this page, including how X percentage, I didn't know the number of our students recoup their investment in our training in just X number of days. Yeah. So I'd it's love been to everybody that. that's got certified so far and, and placed and, 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 and that actually it is closing on an offer. So um so a hundred percent of their students well yeah but that sounds unreal well because some people if they take the program and they don't finish it or they go and decide they want to become a monk then they they don't make they don't make anything you know so um yeah so, well you could be clear about it right you could say a hundred percent of our students who complete the program and actually go and um Close for a company yeah they've okay. made you know they've recouped their investment in however many days that is for you Okay. Usually they make it within 60 days because sometimes their first month is slow because they they just uh, some people will only want to take so many calls or they'll get on a new offer and the, the company owner will feed them a little bit less calls. So by yeah. the second month, they usually make it back. OK, still amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and once you sign up, I'll look forward to meeting you inside the elite remote closer certification program very soon. So that's the intro letter. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a lot of the verbiage that you used in the transcript to really make a case for why this is an amazing high paying career opportunity. So in the script, you talked about what is the high ticket sales industry. You talked about the math behind how you can make $10,000 a month or more and how to actually land a job doing this. So I basically took all of that and put that next with a little couple tweaks in between. So for example, like here, you had the headline or the title slide in your talk. Why is the high ticket sales industry? What is the high ticket sales industry? Why is it growing so fast? And why will it continue to grow? And I added even during a recession because I awesome. know that's going to awesome. be a big thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's just read it. Um, 
These are all smart questions. A high ticket offer is a product or service that costs anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000 or even $100,000 or more. It's usually sold online. Uh, it's usually sold by online influencers who have large social media followings or spend a lot of money on paid traffic. We call these people high ticket influencers. And most commonly, they're selling courses, masterminds, coaching, events, seminars, et cetera. Let me go back real quick. And these products and services have extremely low cost of goods, meaning when a sale is made, most of it is profit. That means the influencer is more than happy to pay a super high commission to the salesperson that closes the deal. And if you're wondering how legitimate or stable this industry is, think about this. We are in the rise of the digital influencer age. Every day, thousands of people become social media stars on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. You hear about it all the time. They just figure something out and go viral. A number of these influencers have figured out that they can sell information products to their audience for a very high price, but that number is growing by the day. By the way, I'm going to time out for a second. I'm noticing some grammar and spelling issues. As you know, great direct response copywriters, we suck at spelling and grammar. So you definitely want to have this proof and if you need my proofreader to do it when it's all buttoned up, just let me know. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I I don't see any yellow or green here. So I assume you like this part that I wrote. I did. I, I maybe added like some small tweaks that weren't okay, like okay, noteworthy. Okay, yeah. but... It sounds great. So because <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Um, all right. So a number of these influencers have figured out that they can sell information products to their audience for a very high price, but that number is growing by the day. If you've ever heard of people like Russell Brunson, Tony Robbins, etc. You think I should throw a one... few more examples in there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Like Grant Cardone would be another one. Oh, and yeah, Robert... of course. I should at his office. Yeah, he's 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 yeah. No, that's why I don't can't believe I didn't think of him. Yeah, whoever you follow and you like, you know, um, there are examples of people that these are examples of people that use their social media influence to sell high end products and services. There is a new Tony Robbins almost every day. They now just come from social media rather than late night information infomercials or Oprah's book club. Literally, there are thousands of these people becoming influencers every day, and they're they're becoming millionaires from selling these high ticket offers. However, they do not like to take their own sales calls. Maybe in the beginning they do, but eventually they need to hire a sales team so that they can go off and do what they do best, which is being an influencer. And so they're willing to pay a huge commission to someone that can, can consist, consistently sell their products over the phone. We call these people high ticket closers. So let's talk about this for a second. So I added this in and I put it in parentheses because I just wanted to add like a little bit of dramatic effect and kind of create a little bit of a side conversation and, and make the copy look a little more interesting to read. It's a yeah. bit of a little copy trick that my father taught me. So oh, okay. how high of a commission do they pay? Well, let's say an influencer is selling a $10,000 coaching program. Most will pay at least 10%. So that is $1,000 every time you close a deal. For instance, this- Should I change that? Because it's not most, it's all. All will pay at least 10. Some pay 15 or even 20. All pay at least 10%. Okay. So I would add that there. are. Okay. And then later in the sales letter, we do talk about how some pay more than that. So oh, okay. that should be handled there. I liked how you added in these testimonials here. That that was awesome. And then I love this next part. This this is all you, Dan. Think oh, about cool. how amazing this is. <laughs> Someone else went out and did all the hard work. They created um, contacts, risked their time content, and money. To, content. Content. They created content, risked their time and money to create a product, spent years of their lives figuring out how to influence the masses, investing a ton of money to grow their company. They took all the risk of managing employees, running a company and dealing with customers. That is a lot for anyone to bear, which is why it takes a very special type of person to be willing to do that. Now imagine you can get 10% of that person's business by simply answering the phone for them. And you didn't have to do any of the hard stuff. I really liked that. You know why that's so good? Because I am that guy. I'm the guy that that risked everything and built a business. And I remember when I had my sales team before I met Phil and really learned like sales team leadership, I used to really get annoyed with my salespeople because they would make more money than anyone in the in the company. Sometimes they'd make like 20, 25 grand a month. And they would like forget to do little things like fill out their end of day reports or, or, or fill out some paperwork that all the other employees that were making a fraction always remember to do. And I'd be like, you prima donnas, like you make so much money and you can't do this simple thing. So, but, but that, that came from like legit experience and like from here, like 
Like you really are making a ton of money off of someone else's immense hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Just I love for it. answering the phone and knowing how to close, which is, is good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I added a little bit more here. I don't remember exactly what I added, but I know that I notated it here. I was having some problems with the Google sheet. So, um, another great thing about high ticket closing is that you don't even have to do what we know as a traditional sales call. That's why we call them high ticket closers instead of high ticket salespeople. In the normal sales scenario, and I think these were your words, I just shifted them. You're dealing with a cold prospect and you have to explain your entire product and services to them and get them to understand it, get them to like you and then ask for the money. But in the world of high ticket closing, these influencers have already put out tons of content like YouTube videos, Instagram stories, webinars, speeches to explain all of that to their audience. So just like a little side note for everyone watching, I often start my sentences with words that my English writing teacher told me not to use, like but and so because. What that does is it allows for the paragraphs to flow nicely into each other and create a seamless reading experience for your reader so that they'll want to easily continue to read it. Uh, my English writing teacher in grade school actually told me that I didn't have the skills I needed to be successful and I should go and find another school, which I did. And now I've gone on to like build this really awesome writing business. So I say like, screw the roles, just what, do what, what sounds English good. Get paid per year, 20, 25 grand. <laughs> I mean, I don't take money advice from people that don't make money, but you know. That's right. <laughs> I'm with you. So just so you know, you can do that here. And that's something that we do a lot. Okay. Um, then they tell their audience they have an offer, send them to fill out an application to apply to learn more about that offer, and they book a time to speak with someone on their team. If that someone is you, you literally are going to be talking to a prospect that has already been introduced to your brand, already likes and follows the brand, has already had their offer explained to them, is already interested in the offer, and already wants to buy. So let's talk about something called copy cosmetics for a moment. Copy cosmetics is how the words look on the page, on the printed document, on the screen, whatever the media is. And a lot of copywriters will tell you it's only about the words. The words are all that matter. Like nothing else determines if this is going to be successful or not. It's BS. To me, it's 50% copy the words and 50% what we call copy cosmetics, how the words look. Because if the words look boring, people are going to think it's boring. If they think it's boring, they're not going to read it. If they're not going to read it. You're not going to make money. If you're not making money, you're in trouble as a business owner. So I know this is just kind of like a Google document, but I loved how you put the bullet points here. And yeah. when you do design Great the page, setup. like you should do bullet points, do the bolding, do the big headlines and all of that type of I've stuff. I've never called it copy cosmetics, but I, I know what you're talking about. And I, I'm, I've always been a big believer in that. Yeah, it's really important. The only thing you have to do is help them become comfortable with actually paying for it. In other words, close the deal. So it's a fraction of the work needed in traditional sales. This means you can learn it much, much faster. And now that you've been introduced to the high ticket closing industry, let me show you the math behind how most closers are able to make 10 to $20,000 per month in commission. I want to actually write this out 10,000. Oh, yeah. So um, here's a mistake I see a lot of people make when they're writing their sales pages. So They'll use these, we call this double readership path. This is sub headlines throughout the page to break up the page and basically allow for us to have headlines that capture people's attention so that if they're not going to read the whole thing, they're going to, they'll, they'll, when they skim, they'll see headlines that will pop out at them and get them to kind of read sections. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when people are using double readership path or sub headlines, they don't actually set up the sub headline. So what that means is that their section above it is really fragmented and doesn't flow and connect with the section below it. So here we made sure to include something, a line that would allow for us to do that. This line fully goes into that sub headline and then really nicely connects to the next section. So now that you've been introduced to the high ticket closing industry, let me show you the math behind how most closers are able to make 10 to $20,000 per month in commission. So, so we just- So, so I did it right. You did it right, yes. Okay, <laughs> it's making sure. Yeah, I've always, I, I learned, I can't remember where I learned that, but, I, and I never called it that, but it was, uh, I guess it's sort of like, I, I've always viewed it as like, every line of copy is meant to make them read the next line of copy. Yeah. And so like, if they don't, like if a lot of times if people, they have an objection to something or they have a question, you kind of know what that is. Or if you, 
maybe they don't understand what the question should be. You like tell them what the question should be and you set up for the next section. So um, yeah. thank you for, for acknowledging. Yeah. I, I told you like I was going to tell I, you what I, you did right and what we could work on. No, so. no, I'm down. Yeah, tear me up, <laughs> rip me open, <laughs> do, yeah. do it. And I, so what you just said is every line should make the reader want to meet to read the next line. So I call that the next test. So when I'm done writing a campaign, like I put it to the side, I go for a run, like I take a day off from it, whatever. And then I have little tests that I go through, like a little checklist that I go through to make sure I've kind of button this thing up and, and have a really good solid um, sales page or emails or whatever. And one of them is the next test where I ask myself, I go line by line. Does this line make me want to read the next one? So on and so oh, forth. Oh, no, that's awesome. That's a good, yeah. Did I ever tell you about the girlfriend test? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I mean, I could call it something else, but it sounds more interesting when you call it the girl. So what you do is when you're done, you show it to your girlfriend and you say, every time you think bullshit, just write bullshit next to the line. And then you go back and you insert like a testimonial or you clean it up where it says bullshit. And, and you know, your girlfriend, she's gonna be like, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Yeah. So you know, I call that the girl. I like that. I've okay. done that with almost every webinar I've ever done. Okay. I like that. I'm and my, 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 my girlfriend is a copywriter. So this, <laughs> my current one. So this is, that's even better. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to get as much info as I can. That's awesome. I love yeah. that. Um, so the next section is where you talk about the math. So let me ask you this. Do you want me to read through this or do you want me, there wasn't a lot of edits I made here. So do you want me to skip it? Um, to you. I don't mind if you, if you, we quickly read through it. Um, okay. let's do it. Do we have to, we, will you have time? I have time. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just, we can just go. I, cause I just, if, for anybody watching, I want them to be able to get the full scope of yeah. the, Yeah. Yeah. All right. So most closers get paid 10% selling offers that range from $5,000 to $50,000 or more per sale. So I guess we need to change this, right? All closers get paid at least 10%. Yeah. Okay. That some, means some even pay 15% to 20%. You, we get to that in this section okay. too. Cool. Yeah. Um, that means you can make five hundred to five thousand dollars for each sale. So let's play out a scenario. Say there's an influencer that is selling a ten thousand dollar online coaching program. Every time you close a deal for them, you're going to make one thousand dollars in commissions. Imagine getting a thousand dollar check or more every time you get someone to say yes to a product from a brand they already like and trust. So again, I put this in parentheses just for like that kind of like little side conversation. Um, so how many calls can you expect to close, get a yes for, and how often the average close rate of a mediocre high ticket closer is 20%. This is if you're not really that great. And this isn't because prospects don't want the product 99% of the time, if they booked the call, they do want the product. It's just a matter of, do they have the money and are they comfortable in investing it? Investing money in anything is scary, but it's the high ticket closer's job to make it less scary. Anyways, we've established that um, a mediocre high ticket closer can close at 20%. What about an average high ticket closer or an above average high ticket closer? A really good high ticket closer can maintain a 40% to 60% close rate, but let's be conservative and say you're closing at 20%. Um, so I think- I'm actually noticing there's like a little error here. This needs to be a different number. Is that correct? Um, no. So, so honestly, if somebody's closing at 20%, we get on their ass. So like, maybe I just didn't word it right. When I, so, so a mediocre or an average, really an average closer closes at 10%, but we don't accept that. Like we, when we manage sales teams, if you're at 20%, we're like, dude, like, you know, so, so for us, for most people, 20% is fine, but for us, we think it's trash. So we just have higher standards and we train yeah. our people with those standards. So I gotcha. Yeah. I think I just misread this for a little bit. I think that this is the right number to be here. So you can just scrap what my my little mishap because you you want to maybe change. How about this? Because I, I think you're right. Anyways, we've established that a average high ticket closer. What about an above average? And then we go back there and we say, let's be conservative and say you're average. So you're closing at 20%. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm probably just like need a little comma there. Cool. 
Okay. Love it. So if you take 50 calls per month and you close 20%, that's 10 sales. And at a thousand dollars a pop, that's $10,000 per month in income for you and your family. Okay. So I just added a little bit more here with less than 50 hours of work for the entire month, keeping in mind that each call is usually less than an hour. Um, so I just added that in to show like how much you could make with how much work, but then in a moment, we're going to talk about working more. So in fact, student name, whoever this person is, I think we should add in a testimonial did it and you can do it too. We have so a then, people. I just got to pick somebody. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now 50 calls per month is only two to three sales calls per day and a decent high ticket influencer will have at least that much call volume, but most of them book two to three times that amount for one closer around 100 to 150 calls per month, meaning you can make way more than $10,000 per month. And then, so I just edited this up a bit. Actually, there will be three ways you can make more than $10,000 per month. You increase your close rate above 20%. You take more calls or you sell a higher priced offer. If your close rate increases, then obviously the amount of sales and commissions you make increase. If you close 30% of those 50 calls instead of 20%, by increasing, increasing your close rate by just 10%, you're now making 15 sales or $15,000 per month. That's if the offer is $10,000. If it's a $15,000 offer, you're now making $22,500 per month. If you take more calls, you'll close more deals, even if your close rate stays the same. So if you take 80 calls per month, even at a 20% close rate, you could make $16,000 per month. We and have, we have, we have one guy that made $42,000 per month. Like he, he made 38 to 42 as an average, but he was re like, he was like a prodigy. Like he was like, yeah, you know, I don't know if I even want to mention that. I mean, he, I mean, he went through our training, but he was just, uh, he's just a natural, you know? So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think definitely have him do a testimonial for you and include it in one of the testimonials. I get a little worried sometimes about using testimonials and like showcasing them as featured testimonials that are like so extraordinary because, I, you know, that's not how it is for most yeah. people. Yeah, the, so, the average person, even the above average person, they might do like 25, 30, but the 40 is like, you know, that's like, you're like, one of the best. So, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't want to set that expectation. Yeah. And awesome for him. How cool. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and if you sell a higher price offer, such as a $50,000 mastermind, now every time you make a sale, you're making $5,000. That's literally five times more money with the same amount of calls and the same close rate. Now do all three of these things all at the same time. Just imagine how much you can make. It's not uncommon for a closer to make $40,000 per month. So maybe oh, you want to adjust that. that. Yeah, I did Thanks. say that. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe change that number. Uh, however you want to do it. I'll I'll leave it up to you. In That's what I was talking about. Because if you if you are a good closer and you land like a hundred K offer, dude, you can totally make 40 grand a month. I mean, you only got to sell four, you know. So so there are I mean, there's some closers that make more than 40, but it's just it's hard to find a hundred K offer. So mm -hmm. I mean it, it, they're out there and and we, we get them. We have one right now uh, that we have a company that we manage our sales team. They have a hundred K offer, but it's, it's not commonplace. So um, maybe I just put that in. Like I did put now, this is one of the best case scenarios, but how about I change, but it's still incredibly possible. So don't expect this. Just know it's out there. Yeah. You could, you could do that. Okay. Yeah. You could even say like out of all the students have been through a program, one of them has been able to achieve this. So it's real and honest, but shows. Yeah, that is possible. honest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, in fact, here's a screenshot of two high ticket closers I hired to sell my product and what they made in just one month. I love that. Um, so as you can see, as long as you know how to close, and then I added this, which I can teach you how to do. Um, when you land a gig with a high ticket influencer, your income could be much higher than it is right now. So I just Can added I put this. we, because it's not me teaching. We have a, we have a team of, of sales coaches. Should I put yeah. we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Then, and also, by the way, I did one other thing here. I made one small change here. It's just one word. Um, when you land a gig with a high ticket influencer. Ah. So I see a lot of people, um, they'll say if 
you do this. If you want to join my program or um, if you're interested oh. in this book, a call, and I like to be assumptive. That is so, such a basic thing that I miss. Holy crap. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's the copywriters on my the copywriters on my team, they miss it sometimes too. And when I'm cheating, I'm like, we got to get that, you know? Damn. So, you know, just be more assumptive. It's all good. Um, so how do you find a high ticket offer to sell that generates six figures per year in commission? So I actually ended up deleting some of the content here because a lot of it was training and I didn't want to train in the sales letter. I only wanted to use these sections to support and make a case for the offer. Okay. So I did delete some of the content. So Finding them is easy. They are everywhere. Just log into your favorite social media app and look for a popular influencer that is selling something not hard to find. And you might not think it right now, but they're actually looking for talented closers excited about selling their high ticket offers. People just like you. So I added that in That's this awesome. line right here. That's incredible. How do I know? Well, I know because I'm one of those high ticket influencers. So then you put your screenshot here. This was all from your webinar. I created an online course and coaching program that generated 30 million in sales at a company called getclients.com. The programs we sold were all between $10,000 and $100,000. Our closers would make $1,000 to $10,000 per sale, depending on what they closed. And I was and still am looking for closers all of the time. So I added that in. Once you learn how to close a high... Uh, how to close a high ticket offer. You can use that skill to either sell your own product and go through all the craziness of being an entrepreneur or to sell someone else's product without all the risks. So I was kind of like leaning into the craziness of being an entrepreneur because you don't really want them to do that and you want yeah. them to buy this offer. And so, about so believe it or not, we do have, um, if you're an entrepreneur and you have your own high ticket product, if you don't have any salespeople, we can't manage your sales team or like, like let's say you don't have enough calls to hire a salesperson. We yeah. can't manage your sales team. Right. So a lot of these people, what they'll do is they'll buy this program. They'll learn to close. They'll sell more of their, uh, uh, product they'll grow and then they'll need a closer. And then they come to us and we help them build a sales team. So, so I put that in there kind of just in case, I, I mean, that was kind of the, one of the reasoning, but I mean, okay. maybe, should I put like, in fact, some solopreneurs actually work with us just to learn how to close for themselves. Should I put that in there or no? Well, I feel like all throughout we've kind of made the case that this is like a really great way for you to make like a, a nice living for yourself without doing all the entrepreneur things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So, often. So. Yeah, I think it's like a separate market. You okay, know? you're right. You're right. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, all right. So so let's keep going. So I chose the first route and it worked out, but I've hired many closers over the years that have made a lot of money. And as a result, as a result, and I've paid them a lot of money in return. In fact, here's a screenshot of some of the commissions I've paid out. So again, that was in your um that was in your webinar. Yeah, I haven't done that. Actually, I haven't done the webinar yet. I've just I've waited to get your take and then I'm gonna kind of oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've, well, I've been busy. I've been flying around and doing stuff. We have a VSL that's converting great right now, but I want to make it a webinar. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to, plus I figured that the, our, my total paid to closers would be even higher by the time I put it in. Cause you know, I just, I'm lazy with screenshots. I, I wait till the very end and I put in the screenshots. <laughs> so. Yeah. 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 I'm with that. Okay, cool. Well, you could probably use a lot of this for your webinar now. So Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now here's our transition. And now I want to show you how you can do this inside of the elite remote closer certification program, because now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the program. So now we've made a really great case for why someone would want to be a high ticket closer. Now we need to tell them what the program is about. Okay. So um, the first thing we do is before I tell you all about this life-changing program, let's talk about who this is for. So I have a lot of notes here. Let me explain them to you. So I, I'm going to highlight this part and this part right here. So this was from the transcript that you sent me. Okay? Oh, okay. You had like a couple little bullet points about who this could be for. And then you had some bullet points about who this is not for. So I'm going to suggest a different format to you. And here's why. I don't like to lean into the who this is not for. I know a lot of copywriters do that. 
I just think it sounds negative and it creates a negative energy around the offer. Like it's think a about big, that's I don't a big know if you, webinar thing that we do, but we do it at the beginning of the webinar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let, let me put it into this perspective. So I don't know if you've ever done dating apps ever in your life, but I've done them way too much more, I more than I want to admit. <laughs> Actually, I met I met Ayn on on Tinder. Oh, you did? Okay, perfect. Yeah, and okay. I met my ex-wife on Tinder. So clearly it works. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly Fine. you've done it. So have you ever seen someone that's like, if, um, if you're into social media, swipe left, or if you're not, you know, this way, swipe left, like, and then every time I see those profiles, I'm like, oh, this person is just negative. Like, even if like I'm aligned with their desire, like it's negative. Like there's such a better way you could say this. Like I enjoy being with a present partner, right? That's like a way that you could say that. At the risk of sounding like Andrew Tate, uh, <laughs> which I'm about to, um, I know for a fact, just based on experience and all my guy friends know, if a girl puts in their profile, just so you know, I don't I don't yeah. go home with you on the first date, she's definitely going home with you on the first date, 100%, because she's not convincing you, she's convincing herself. So. <laughs> I get, I see, yeah. <laughs> see what we're talking about. Okay. So we're just going to reformat and structure this. So it's like more positive. So there's a little format formula I use here. So you can kind of use this when you're filling this in. Um, so the first line will be, you're this type of person. You want this without having to do this. I actually like that. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whether you are this type of person, this type of person, or this type of person you are in the right place. And I'm going to show you how this program can help you get what you want. So um, you definitely want to make sure you keep this in. You are in the right place. You want to tell them that they're in the right place. And I'm going to show you how this program can help you get all the things that you want that I just acknowledged up here. Okay. Okay. And then for the the bullet points below, are you saying just take that and adapt it to that? Yeah. You can. Okay, cool. Cool. For sure. Um, so that's that part. And then the next section, so now I'm going into adding sections in. So the next section you're going to want to add is by the end of this program, you will have accomplished what? So you will have discovered a high ticket sales system that will allow you to earn up to $30,000 a month in commissions. You will have been placed with your very first company and actually start taking sales calls. You will have X, Y, and Z. So I want you to think about like all the steps and accomplishments. And so they'll, they'll learn how to have a winning mindset uh, of a six figure closer. They'll learn how to close deals in under 45 minutes for, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. They'll learn how to overcome objections. They'll yeah. learn how to find uh, an influencer to close for. And sometimes what we do is if they're really good, we pluck them out and we put them with a the company. So yeah, they have to find further it. down. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I want to wow. promise that though, because it just depends on how many positions we have and, and how serious they take the program, but yeah, the, you, yeah. they can totally go find their own easy. I mean, most of our testimonials are from people that went out and found their own influencer and closed them on closing for them and then close their clients. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. And you can also say like, you will have now joined a community of other like-minded closers who want to work from anywhere, you know, like, so there's Exchange other knowledge. Yeah. 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 Networking. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I can so do that. The next thing that I did is I wanted to add in a testimonial section and a call to action section. So now as we continue through the page, you'll see them kind of built in here. So the first part is what people are saying about the elite remote closer certification program. And then you'll just put some testimonials here, screenshots, and then you have a call to action section. So there's like a little headline of your call to action section. I wrote, make a great income as a high ticket closer and work from anywhere. And then the button copy says, click here to schedule a call with 13. Okay. So, so, you're, got- so, you're, so you're saying, um, make a great income. That is a, like a headline and the button copy is the, right under it. okay. We use a, an embedded calendar. So okay. do I just put, choose a time below to schedule a call with our team and then put the, yeah, okay, perfect. Fine. You could totally do that. Yeah. Um, I usually like to put a button because when I put the button, I like to do a pop-up that has an opt-in so that I can, I can, Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So it's like a two-step form. So when they opt in, if they don't actually go to book the call, we can then retarget them with emails and other marketing. To get so them I was going to have them opt-in before reading this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, okay. Yeah. 
All right. And um, then, so here's the next part. Here's how our elite remote closer certification works. Okay. So um, I made this as a new section and I took some of the copy that I found from all over the transcript and I pasted it all together and made this section up. Okay. You rock. So, you rock <laughs> Thanks. So you can become a certified high ticket closer in just seven weeks inside of our elite remote closer certification program. In fact, all the screenshots we shared today of people making big commissions, they all went through our elite remote closer certification program too. And then you would put more screenshots. Once you enroll in our elite remote closer certification program, you will be put through a seven week training program where you work with our closer coaches. So you, you said sales coaches. I changed it to closer coaches. I hope that's cool. okay. If you want to yeah, change no, it yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Okay. To learn our high ticket sales system after, whoa, okay, hold on. I got a little sidetracked. After seven weeks, you'll pass the certification exam and officially be a certified high ticket closer. At that time, use, using our training, you will go out and find yourself an influencer with a high ticket program to sell. Don't worry, we will show you how, and there are thousands. And I assumed that was correct. I, I didn't know. So yeah, that's I mean, correct. So we, if, if they're really good, we pluck them and put them with one of the companies we manage. But I mean, it, it, you know, we don't, obviously we don't promise that. It just depends on how many companies we have available at the time. I just, I yeah. don't want to make that an expectation. So I don't, I didn't put it in there. Well, it's actually what's next. So, and if you're oh. a star student, we may steal you for ourselves and place you with a high ticket influencer train oh. and on board you into their offer. So if you want to take this out, you can. Um, um, I kind of like it. Yeah. Well, oh, I do say, but we cannot guarantee that. And if only, yeah, no, I made it clear. I made it clear that you have yeah. to stand out. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah. Cause it's true. We do, you know, so. Yeah. And then or, or we may last... even grab them for us sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I think that's a pretty cool perk. And so it kind of gives them that option without making you tied to having to do that. Um, either way, by the time you graduate from the program, you will have blank. So I was going to let you fill this in, like the big overall goal summary of what they achieve in your own words. Like, so by the end of this, the uh, skills the to make more money than any doctor, lawyer, or surgeon while sitting on your keister in front of your computer. Something like that is perfect. <laughs> okay. So then I added another section for you. So here's what you're about to experience when you enroll in the elite remote closer certification program. So here's um, what this section is about. This is for your purchasers who want to have all of the details before moving forward. Mm -hmm. And I get that some people really want that because they're spending their hard-earned money on something like this. So what we do is we go module by module. So if yours is a seven-week training, right? So is it seven modules, one each week? Is that what it looks like? Um, yeah, but it's 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 not really a course. It is a course, but like they do all kinds of stuff. They do role-playing with our manager like there's a course element okay. but if they do role playing i mean it's a lot like it's it's okay. intensive so um, i would outline what they do each week we we week one you're going to do this you're going to watch our training videos about x y and z week two you're going to role play with so and so so i would just go week by week and i can send you an example of another one that i wrote for a different well, offer if you want to see yeah that'd example. be great i can adapt yeah. yeah that'd be great yeah so that's what i would do there um and then um, so the next section is kind of your offer stack. So, you know, your like perfect webinar formula that you follow and there's like an offer stack at the, at the pitch. So I want to see this here too. So when you enroll during the special limited time period, you'll get, and then you can put all the things you'll get, you'll get the curriculum, you'll get the role-playing calls, you'll get the coaching calls, you'll get access to the Facebook group to ask your questions. So put all of those items there that they're going to get and like really show the value and then I don't know if you have bonuses, but if you do, plus these major bonuses to help you, you know, close even more to help you get your very first client or whatever the bonuses are about. And then I would add your bonuses here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I, because oh. So for our high ticket stuff, I've never really done that like old school bonus stack thing, okay. you know, um, but I can, I can figure something. Do you think that's crucial? I don't think it's crucial. I just wanted to make sure I included it here in case you did have them. Okay. So cool. 
If not, you can delete this. I also did go ahead already. I guess I got ahead of myself. I showed you an example of an offer stack that I've used for something else. So you can model that too. And then I don't know if you have a guarantee or not, but if you do, this would be the place um, that you would put that. It doesn't need to be a money back guarantee either, just for everybody watching. Um, for a lot of high ticket offers that we write for, sometimes they'll do a guarantee like, you know, like if you, you know, if you don't achieve X, Y, Z result, we'll keep working with you until you do. So if you have a guarantee, this is where I would put it. Um, but if you don't, you can just take it out. Okay. okay. And then we're going to do another testimonial section. And then we're going to do another call to action section with a button or a calendar for someone to schedule. And now we get into our price justification section. So this is really important. This is where we make a case for why the price of this program is like such a no brainer without even telling them the price. Um, so I, similar to one of the other sections, I took copy from all over the place and like morphed it into this one. So how the elite remote closer certification program more than pays for itself, the cut to the chase reason that this program is a smart investment for your future. Okay. So here's what I've put together based on some of your stuff. Yes, there is a fee for the certification, but X number percentage of our certified closers make it back with their first commission check. We charge a fee and not a cheap one because we didn't skimp on our coaches. They are the best of the best and they don't come cheap. If you want the best, no one expects you to be the cheapest. And if you want the cheapest, no one expects you to be the best. Plus, we want to make sure that you're serious and have the ability to actually ask for money. It's very difficult to become a successful high ticket closer if you're not a high ticket buyer. You can't convince someone to pay a lot of money to solve their problem if you've never paid a lot of money to solve your problem. You need to know it's possible so you can show someone else it's possible in order to close deals. I also want for you to understand that when you finally learn the skill of high ticket closing, you'll make back your money and make it back quick. For instance, if you're a surgeon, you're going to get paid a lot of money to operate on people. If you're a lawyer, you're going to get paid a lot of money to defend people in court. However, those skills take years and years to learn and hundreds of thousands of dollars in schooling fees. Closing, on the other hand, especially high ticket closing, is much different. This is a new emerging industry that is making people rich almost overnight. And this is your chance to tap into the still relatively unknown gold mine that is high ticket closing. In fact, the average high ticket closer makes more than most doctors and lawyers. And this skill can be learned in a matter of weeks, not years. Take these students, for example, and then testimonial, testimonial, testimonial. So I took this from like a myriad of places in your transcript and kind of combined it together into one section specifically to justify the fee. Okay. Okay. And they will get results like this for years to come. Where can you get a better return on your investment? So I added that in, okay? Remember, no matter what the state of the economy is in, commerce still has to happen. Goods still need to be sold and someone needs to sell those goods. That's why closing is regarded as one of the most recession-proof industries on the planet. So then we do another call to action section, no testimonials this time. So do, should, I put, we, should I put sales? Because if you look up sales, it's a recession proof industry, but they call it sales, they don't call it closing. Or do you think that's not really a big deal? Um, it, I don't know. I, I think put whatever you feel most comfortable with. Like to me, it's like this kind of like the same thing. It's just a different word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, or you could say that's why sales end closing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now we get into our objection. Well, should I put a screenshot of like a Forbes article that says closing or uh, sales if, is recession proof? If you have one, that'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah, I can go. Just, yeah, I, I have one. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Um, so now we're going to overcome some objections. So um, I have a little note for you here. So what are the most common objections? And these are just some ideas I had. Will I still make money doing this in a recession? Is now a good time? Is this a good use of my money in this economic downturn? And then what are the other objections that your sales team is hearing on your calls? So I would, them. Yeah. Yeah, I would do a section for each one, like pick your most common, like three and do a section busting each objection. Um, and then from there, I would add a Q and a section. So questions students ask before joining, and you can also use this section to bust objections as well. 
So, um, you know, it could be simple, simple questions like, um, what happens if I still need support after I graduate? That could be a question, or it could be more in-depth questions. Um, like how long on average does it take your closers to match with a company? So I would just think about some of the, the questions that come up that keep people from moving forward. And I would briefly answer them here in this next section. And now we need to tell them what to do. So here's the next step. Okay. So, um, here we go. If you made it this far, you know, you want to do this. So here's the next step. First, click on one of the buttons on this page that will direct you to a calendar. So you might need to adjust this if you're putting the calendar on the page, but we'll just keep going where you can book a call with one of our team members. That's where you can choose a time to speak to us about applying for your certification. Consider this call to be a bit of an audition. Once you book your call, you'll be shown a five minute sales closing lesson. All you have to do is watch the lesson, show up to the call and summarize what you learned. You don't have to master it. You just have to show that you actually watched the video, possibly, uh, oh, I lost my place, understood what it said and can at least summarize it. If you can do this, it shows us you are trainable and coachable. It also shows us that you could possibly make a lot of money from this industry. At that point, we will have a chat and make sure this opportunity is for you. And then you can decide whether or not you want to be a part of it. As you'll see on the calendar, there is limited availability as we do get a ton of applications per week, but as students graduate, new spots open up. So if you see a spot on the calendar, grab it before someone else does. Okay. So now we've got like two more sections left to go. So the next section is the, you should do this if. So this is a, a little mix of reiterating who should do this while slightly holding the reader's feet to the fire. I used to call this section like the gut twister section because this would be where you like stuck the knife in and turn it and like, you know, said that thing that's going to make them move forward. And then as I got older, um, that didn't resonate with me anymore. So, but that's how I learned it. That's how it was taught to me. Um, a lot of Dan Kennedy type of copywriting. I'm you know? totally fine with it. I'll, I'll get I know it. you are. <laughs> I'll get you so like a fish boy. I don't care. <laughs> So this is your chance to do that. I did see you had this story. I, I kind of like left it at the end about how you met your girlfriend. And ha had you not have like asked her out, you would have missed out on like. That works really good on stage. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I just was looking for more of like a, like just go a little deeper with the pain on this story a bit. Okay. If that feels like that resonates for you. So, so I think that that needs to go next. And then I like to add the celebratory section. So, so wait, just, to, just to go back, you're saying take that and put that there and just make it a little more painful. You could. Yeah. I, for some reason, like that story isn't resonating with me as much. Like I'd love if you could maybe try to find a different story. All right. Know. How about like, this? How about this? Um, I'll bet you that. Uh, <laughs> You know those nursing homes that you see in the news where the orderlies beat the, the the patients? I want you to think about who actually ends up there. These are people who probably made a lot of mistakes in their lives. No one cares about them. And they literally oh ended up at the cheapest <laughs> nursing home, so cheap that they're having to knit sweaters uh, for, for the, to, to, so that the orderlies can sell them online and they're getting smacked around, uh, well into their eighties. You want this to be you? Because I guarantee you, there are several really bad decisions those people made to get there. And they probably didn't take action on a lot of opportunities that they could have. Do you want to be one of those people? Do you want to be the person that, that misses the opportunity again and again, until you find yourself in, 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 in the, uh, in the discount nursing home, if, if not, then now's the time to book a call. <laughs> it's a little over the top, maybe for me, but I'll let you write the section for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to read your final sales page. Again. <laughs> the last section is the celebratory section. This is kind of like the rah, rah section. Okay. So I, I put this headline here. I can't wait to celebrate you receiving your first $10,000 commission check with you. And then this would be the section where you talk about, you know, how, um, you know, it's going to be so cool for them when they make their first check and their whole life changes and they start to see these new possibilities for themselves. And you're going to be there cheering them on with the other get closer, you know, uh, the, you know, community and, um, you know, 
That's what this section is about. So that's just okay. like a little, like heartfelt little. Yeah. Okay, got it. I can do that. You have to dig deep for that one after that. Uh, after that nursing home story. <laughs> and then, uh, would you put that in or no? I, I think it's too harsh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? So is your mortgage company when you can't pay them. <laughs> but I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, I would talk about like maybe you can kind of dig into a story of like you know. Um, like having to like work at your miserable job for the rest of your life and seeing all these people like, you know, taking these great trips on Instagram and you're sitting on the sidelines, like wondering if that could ever be you, like, this is your opportunity to actually make that happen for yourself. I don't know. I kind of like going you know, back when I used to deliver pizza for seven years, I remember one Christmas, the furnace went out and my landlord was a slumlord. I didn't even have enough money to have uh, somebody come and fix it. So I had to wait the whole weekend. I went literally through Christmas uh, without any heat. I had to buy five space heaters, huddle up in a circle with my girlfriend at the time just to stay warm. And in fact, it tripped the breaker constantly because I had too many plugged in. So I had to get up every hour and flip the breaker. And that's how we slept for four days. Now, if it, now you may, now you may see these people on Instagram, uh, having beautiful lives and going to amazing places. And I can tell you this right now, back then there was no Instagram, but if I would have saw that stuff at that time, I would have probably been so depressed. I may not be here to actually write this for you today. <laughs> so I'm thankful that it did not exist then. But you know what? I'm also thankful for it. the fact that I actually took action and learned a skill that completely changed my life and made sure that I would never be in that position again. And you can have that same skill in the next seven weeks, something like that. Yeah, better, way better. better. Okay, better. Care for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm more of a speaking guy, man. I, I know you are. I like that. I'm more of a writer. I know. I'm, I mean, I like to write. I can write good copy, but man, if I just fly it out, it's. it's I, I actually don't even write it. I speak it. I spoke this whole thing into my phone. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I just. I'm. I'm. I, that's how I write. I spoke my, my books. Everything was all speaking into my phone. I like that. That's yeah. awesome. Um, all right, then you got your last call to action section, another testimonial section. Okay. Got it. All and right. That that's a lot. Format for this. Sweet. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Man, I feel like I need <laughs> to smoke a cigarette. And I don't even smoke. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, what you sent me was, was different. You sent me a transcription of like a webinar, a practice webinar, right? So yeah. it's just a different format. And, and like, if I was to write a webinar for a client, it, I would follow a different format than this sales page. Yeah. Well, I know. So, I, I mean, I've, I made most of my money from webinars, so I know how to take this and adapt it to a webinar. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can do that, but there's a lot of gold in here that I'll include, uh, in the webinar for sure. So, um, and then I, dude, I mean, th this is like, I, I, I kind of want to test the sales page out, just text. You imagine if this book calls for just as much, just as cheap as a webinar, like I'm actually interested. I'm going to run some traffic to it and see what happens. Like I'm, 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 I'm actually interested. So Mara, this has been absolutely amazing. Uh, you're incredible. Um, I mean, this is why you're the best. What do you, what, what, what has been your title the past several years? The, the best female copywriter in the world? People call me the world's best female direct response copywriter. World's best so. female direct response copywriter. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. A, that, couple, a couple others have tried to steal that name. <laughs> they always do. Know. Damn copywriter. Um, no, this was okay. We can all be good. Yeah. You, 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 yeah, you waxed my ass on this one. This was good. Um, but I'm glad that I saw some sections that were all gray. So, you know, um, <laughs> but no, this was, this was fantastic. I'm not much of a sales page writer. I'm more of like a webinar writer. So this was, this was great. I'm definitely going to uh, use all of this and, and test it and see what happens. Um, I, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get it up and running. Um, so since, since I'm, you know, obviously this was for me, but I'm uploading it to YouTube, uh, for everybody else to learn. Can you tell everybody, uh, if they want to throw you lots of money to, cause you offer copy or you, you offer the whole thing. You write email sales pages, everything for companies. So where would somebody find you if they want to, uh, have you do this completely for them so that they don't, they don't have to, Who, where, where would that be? Thank, thank you for asking. Um, so you can go to directresponsecopygirl.com and book a call with us about us writing your sales copy for you, whether it's a sales page, 
emails, what have you. Um, we also now are doing email list management for companies that are booking sales calls through email, where we actually write the emails for your list every day, set them up, send them out, get them delivered in the primary tab as well. Um, so you can book a call with me at direct response, to chat about. Awesome. That awesome. And I, I have, um, on a couple of occasions paid you for, uh, emails and sales pages and they, they've always been amazing and they've always obviously you know they've always always done really well so if yeah. if anybody's watching this and you need copy written and you want the best then you need to go to mara so um thank you, thank you so much i really appreciate you doing this i do i, I really do i i owe you a, a, a dinner on top of what i already paid you for this because this was amazing <laughs> you over delivered so thank you so so much